adventurer shines in the darkness. Today's reading is taken from John 1 verses 1 to 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Yesterday was the shortest day of the year, and last night one of the longest. From this point on, the day should get longer and the nights shorter. It won't be long before we see signs of new growth and then the summer will follow on. As the days grow longer, so many of us will feel more positive. Light certainly makes us feel better. In our reading today, Jesus is described as light and later in John's Gospel, Jesus himself refers to him as the light of the world and goes on to say, Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. When we come into a relationship with Jesus, we move from darkness to light, the light which illumines our spiritual adventure. However, this move from darkness to light brings with it a responsibility to reflect that light to the people around us. What did Jesus say? You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. And those verses was taken from Matthew 5, 14 to 15. And now a prayer. Dear Lord, as you illuminate the way for me, help me to reflect your light to others. Amen.